Christmas, Christmas, everybody. Christmas, Christmas time is here. <laughs> time for presents and annoying sales people. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong song. <laughs> Well, we're here today, and we have the lovely Greg himself, the legend. Oh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I thought we'd Bless start this soul. way today. Okay, that's that's fine. No. And then we have still Charlie, or I like to refer to him as Sir Charles. <laughs> Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Sir Charles. <laughs> yeah. And I am Mackenzie. Absolutely the amazing, <laughs> the wonderful, the Mackenzie. <laughs> the Mackenzie. The Mackenzie. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, so you're saying that this episode is going to be about what is our subject? Christmas. Christmas. Can you not tell? We have our festive lights in the back, and we have our red backdrop. I have my like, one of my many Christmas shirts and my Christmas cup, and little sparklies out the front. <laughs> and 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 Sir Charles has his <laughs> Christmas cap. <laughs> <laughs> um. I know they can't see it, but I did go out and bought some Christmas paper. Oh, yes. And I uh, bought official Grinch paper. Oh, I love the Grinch. We should wrap Charlie and see if he can get out of it. Um, You're a I'm, mean I'm, one, <gasps> Mr. Mr. Charlie. Oh. I'm not mean. No, you're cute and adorable. I'm lovable. Charlie. I'm lovable. <laughs> so, I know there may be a few people out there going, what is Christmas? I have never heard of this Christmas thing. <laughs> Oh, just <laughs> some people. Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know who the hell these people are. I was going to say, yes, it's just like I read a fact that said uh, someone in this country has a, an auto accident every eight seconds. Now, I don't know who this son bitch is or how bad he <laughs> drives, but I, would you not quit driving after that eight seconds? <laughs> oh, you mean- <laughs> it's just, just bing, 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 Taking forever to get to their destination. Let's get New York a, drivers. Let's get um, a little uh, bit. If you've or, ever seen the, those videos, people do some crazy. I like the little dash cams. Well, no, just like well, I mean, some, nothing against New Yorkers, but he has everything against some, New Yorkers. No, not everything, just some things. But like, <laughs> like some of the videos. Yeah. Those people just like. Mm. Mm, how'd you get your or license? Russians? Gosh. Oh really? Yeah. Like, oh. Well, I mean, you got to think with all the snow. They just. They just <laughs> They bounce off other cars, people. Oh, you yeah. know, okay. light work. I, I like to Cash. watch some strange videos. <laughs> That's how you stay up all night yeah, <laughs> at work. Like, With see. all of the new crazy laws and restrictions in New York, I'm not even sure if they're allowed to have. Yeah, I think Christmas cars are anymore. Oh, that. So. Or cars, cars either way. Unless they're maybe. Unless they're electric. Yeah. But, um, um, I think he's right. Christmas might be illegal there. Yeah. Uh, That's the South Pole. Well, <laughs> let's tell people what Christmas is, because I'm sure there's somebody out there who's either drunk or just doesn't know. Uh, hey, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and we thank you for that, Charlie. I feel like, too, like Christmas means something different to everybody. You know, some well, people it's like a religious holiday. Some people it's just like the, the joy of like Santa and like the spirit of family. For some of us, it's just another day we have to work. Yeah. Um, so that's why we're <laughs> talking about this one where Christmas is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, Jesus Christ. It is primarily observed on December 25th as a religious and cultural celebration among billions of people around the world. A feast of the central to the Christian liturgical calendar. It follows a season of Advent, which begins four Sundays, count them for before the Nativity Fest, and initiates the season of Christmas Tide, which I guess you have to wear a life preserver for, uh, which historically in the West lasts 12 days and culminates on the 12th night. Oh yeah, I got to catch uh, up with Christmas my, is my a Advent. Pup? Yeah, or it's an Advent calendar. Mm. Yeah, yep. except what Advent calendar are you doing? Uh, wait, 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 wait! Please continue. Oh wait, that's Advent. I Crap! I bought an event calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it could work. You just got to knock it down. Yeah, I can't show you all my Advent calendar. Oh, okay. it's well, between my friends. So Charles, all, all, all. all. <laughs> I'm the, going to hush now. I, I think the first thing we should say about Christmas is it's not just a day. I know mm-hmm. it's the mm-hmm. day that is the birth of Christ. Mm-hmm. We understand that. But since the whole world is not rejoicing, joining hands, going happy birthday mm-hmm. to you, um, we do have it as kind of a whole season because mm-hmm. it's all the things that lead up to the birth of our Christ our Lord, 
um, and it's all the things that happen afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just presents. I know that the major retailers out there will have you believe that. The well, they've they've put their stamp on it, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> Absolutely. Plus, everything starts so early now. People yeah. like start decorating like at Halloween. I yeah, Absolutely. I saw stuff out like in September. Like at some of the stores, like they started like getting like the shelves. Yeah, and the the music and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, don't talk about the music. I don't See, like I don't, Christmas I, music. I like the, I, I like the it. Christmas music. That's why I like you know like well when 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 uh, Miss Hattie May at work has she has to listen to her. I can say that because that's yeah. her nickname. So uh, when she starts, she has to have the Christmas music. Aww. I love it. It doesn't bother I me do. at all. See, I love I love once it hits. Um, like Thanksgiving, I'm like all geared for like the holiday season and Christmas music and carols and you know stuff like that. Um, they play constantly Christmas music at work, and mm -hmm. it gets entombed into our brain. <laughs> so I would like to do for you right now my imitation of what Christmas music sounds like to me after oh. the first hour of work. Oh. Like after that. This has been about eight seconds so far. Now try this for ten hours. So the... <laughs> You're not a Christmas music uh, All person? I hear is jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you too can get a rubber chicken for only $1.99 for Christmas season. And he is a beautiful See, well, okay, chicken. Okay, so, so we already know his favorite Christmas song. He just, he just <laughs> no, actually, what? one of my favorite ones is the Billy. Uh, it's Billy Squire. He has his Christmas song. Um, and I, I like a little Christmas music, but it's constantly everywhere, 24 yeah. hours a day, inundated, just put into your brain. And sometimes I just would like a little regular music, a little break from it. Well, just do what I do. Go nowhere. <laughs> okay, I go well, nowhere. He just hibernates. He just hibernates <laughs> yeah, yeah, through like all the well, Christmas season. Be a whiz, <laughs> my boy. Maybe I should do that. My, my bank might like if I hibernated instead. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, Somehow my still, employer money, is going to feel wow. differently about that. Um, <laughs> I, I, me and Wiz seem to do all right with him. <laughs> wiz, <laughs> love you, buddy. So, um, let's talk about that whole season thing. Mm -hmm. What stands out most for you? Is it the presents? Is it the religious aspect of it? Is it the uh, buying presents for people? Is it the hustle, blood, bustle? Is it the music? What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you say Christmas? Um, Ladies first. So I definitely am a gift giver. I love giving gifts and stuff like that. So I like to prepare. But um, Christmas isn't really one of my, like, I don't even know if Christmas is, like, my top five like holidays of the year i do like it you know it's fun i like that everybody gets involved but when i think christmas so i'm mixed and half of my family's from puerto rico and i don't know if this is um a caribbean thing or a puerto rican thing i know that not all hispanics celebrate it but we celebrate the epiphany so we actually celebrate january 6th um when the wise men make it to jesus and so that's huh. the day that they that they do. And so like there's not really like Santa. Like we do it because my mom, you know, she's American, so we do both. Um, but for like my my family on that side growing up, that's like a, that's a very religious day. And so they'll spend all day at mass. <laughs> you say it's religious? Yes. Oh my! Um, <laughs> if so you guys are going to celebrate something, I see as a redneck, you have to celebrate something I can actually spell and say. So. Okay, here I'll make it easy. It's actually called um, in English. It's called Three Kings Day. That makes sense. Oh, it's okay. called we, we Three talked Kings about that Day. Before. Albert yes. King, Freddie King, and BB oh, King. <laughs> yes, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, so that's what they do. So, but that tradition is, you know, how you leave like <laughs> the milk and cookies out for Santa. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So for for Three Kings Day, it's a much smaller scale, and you get like a shoe box, or like my mom found this like cuties box. So it's like wood. It's cute, and uh, you put. Um, like carrots and celery and water out for the camels on their journey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for their journey there. And then Bro, don't, don't be laughing at her. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm actually liking that. It's it's different. It's different. And a lot of people, they don't, you know, they don't really know about it. So that's what we do. And I, then you wake truthfully, up. Truthfully, I did not. Yeah. Did not and so you oh. wake up and there's little gifts. And it's it's not as big as like, you know, the Santa and the tree and everything. Normally you leave it outside and you go check and or like, you know, outside of your room and the camels, you know, 
the kings leave gifts as thank you for All their training. All I'm going to say is if somebody would leave a few carrots and green beans <laughs> out for that fat guy in a red suit, them reindeer wouldn't be half as <laughs> out of go. breath when they get done with their route. Okay? It's got to be jolly, bro. Back up, back up. Hey, he it's got to be he, jolly. He can be jolly, Don't man. Don't disrespect the jolly belly. Yeah. Um, you got to have a little wiggle with a jiggle. But as a fat guy, trust me, I... N- <laughs> You know, I know exactly what you mean. I am as jolly as they get. That is true. Um, Can confirm. But even I know that uh, a few vegetables mixed in with the holiday fare will help. A balance. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, say I'd put out broccoli. Broccoli? Yeah, I love broccoli. My Ah. family will put out broccoli, not celery. My whole family will destroy broccoli. For like what, like the reindeer or just like (laughs) just in general? I wonder if camels do like broccoli. Um... Oh, I mean for the deer. Well, like even like so. Once we learned that, we were like, "Oh, well, we need to give something for Santa for his nah, deer," bring, and we would give like carrots. <laughs> don't, don't bring deer to my house. No. No, we'll, we'll eat them. Cook them up. <laughs> love Make some, some, yeah, we some love deer some jerky. Uh, still, Charlie, I have a question for you. Shoot. Uh, the yeah. deer. Not the deer. Uh, <laughs> since you this mentioned, is, this is why Santa's late because <laughs> he's down a few deer. I don't. Even since own you mentioned gun. broccoli. Uh, I know you and I have have had discussions before about shows we were thinking of making. We were talking about old TV shows. And I know that you are a fan of a show I like called Night Court. Oh, yes. And if you remember... <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> if you remember, Harry's father would come on the show. He had been, you know... Oh, man, that's uh, a long time ago. Let's yeah, he was he was a member of the Grippy Sock Hotel for a while. So, what is uh, that? and well, that's the I mental institution. I haven't seen it in a long time. Oh. Well, man. his father was the same guy that played uh, the uh, Mr. Mor- Adams on the Adams Family. Really? Uh, oh, okay, that makes more sense now. And he would okay. always come and decorate. He would always come and decorate on on holidays, and he would decorate Harry's office with broccoli for Christmas. <laughs> Why? You, I, I can't remember. I uh, have there, the there was a I'm specific find out. reason for it. I just I can't help you. I don't even think my brother could find. It. I don't think he could go there. My brother liked Night Court a heck of a lot more than I did. I loved it, but that was one of my brothers uh, until they took it off would, the air. He would always talk about his friend Nick, who drove this crazy red convertible. <laughs> but he's feeling much better now, you know. So yeah, uh, yeah that's, that was always <laughs> that, that was his what, tagline. That was his yeah. tagline. Yeah. Uh, like, I got but shot you know what? Head, I'm starting I'm to think that might be a thing. Let's... <laughs> like literally, is yeah. If we could start decorating with broccoli, because I love broccoli, Change especially it up a little with bit. butter, cheese, garlic, whatever. I can't uh, we do could broccoli with cheese. I, I can't do broccoli with cheese either. I'd I can't, rather I can't eat do, it yeah. raw or like steamed. Uh, I like it sautéed. But um, one I, year I, for I, Christmas, uh, my father and I were talking, and we wanted to make a. A meal. It wasn't the actual Christmas meal. We were just looking for something to do different, and we decided to make pizza. Oh, and we had a vegetable pizza with mm. carrots, green beans, mushrooms, and oh. broccoli that we had steamed with a whole carrots. lot of garlic in it. Oh. And I am here to tell you that is one tasty pre-festivities feast. Really? Uh, yeah. It's. I never thought veggie pizza would be all that great. Uh, just because I'm not an onions and peppers guy. I love onions. But I just onions onions and carrots, and green beans, Ugh. broccoli, and mushrooms. Uh, New and to the mushroom world. Too. We had some it. spaghetti sauce, some good <laughs> mozzarella, <laughs> and then we steamed all the vegetables for a few minutes first with a, a bunch of cloves of garlic, and it was just wonderful. So if anybody Ooh. out there would like to try that, yeah. Um, Sign me up. I'd try it. Well, see, we do a different thing on, we we always, my family is just kind of, uh, we f- just follow, it's not like a, like old traditions mm-hmm. down from our, you know, great greats or whatever. It's just something that we do. And my family's always done it. We don't, every Christmas. And of course, now that I'm actually talking about it, I can't even, like my brain just went completely. It just blank. left you. Yeah, completely <laughs> gone. But it, it's, it's almost like, um. It's almost like a quiche kind of thing, but we do oh. it. For, we do it for brunch. Ooh. Um, oh, my mom's. What gonna... do you put in it? Because um, there's well, different kinds of quiches, right? Well, well, yeah. But th- there's a typical one that we that we started off with. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's eggs, mm-hmm. um, cheese, sausage, cheese. Ooh. I was uh, good till you said eggs. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah can sorry. you make a quiche without without eggs? I think that's literally what it is. It's I, like a I, yeah, it's like I a big egg pie. Can. They always look good. It's a pie. No, it's not a pie. It's a pie. It's not a pie. It's a pie. It's square. It's a 
We put it in a, a square. We, we put Here it in we a go. This is our it's version pie. of it's a pie. Bugs Bunny oh, and it's a pie. Donald Duck pies doing rabbit season, duck season. Pies they don't round. have to be. They're square pies. I've seen square pies. The, we put and this in what? a rectangular dish. It's not a pie. Oh, it's a so now it's not a square. Now, now it's, it's a rectangular. rectangular. Oh, it just has to be something different. I've done. I've done it in a square because you know it's just for me. But like. It's a pie. Please give us your um, your take oh on it God. in the comments and let us know if you think that a quiche can be a pie. Because I think that it's a pie because it has crust. Oh, God. What is right? This? The quiche has, like, the crust on the outside. And it's a fluffy on the inside. It's a savory breakfast um, pie. And it's also sold at a pie shop that I worked at. So, boom, roasted. Mm, no. uh, all I can say is a flute with quiche no holes like. is not a flute. It's a fife. And a donut with no holes is not a donut. It's a Danish. So, oh, and I, yeah, it, it's it's pie. strata, pie. it's strata. That's what it's called. Pie. Okay, um, and we it? have it. Oh, oops, hold on, let me go back. There were a lot of Look at that pie. cool things Even my grandmother like used to That's make not, wait, because she was from Scotland. It's not pie. It's not pie. Yeah, just because you change the shape, don't make it not pie. And it's it's. So know. if a pizza's in a square, it's not a pizza. Well, I then I guess it I might that kind technically of be a Sicilian. Whose side are you on? <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> ah. no. But well, we have strata, and it's it's. Uh, we, we, we also pie. put we also put mushrooms and uh, sausage and. Oh, I'm it, loving it, mushrooms it, right now. If the fat man is going to show his knowledge of anything, it's going to be food related. But you agree that pizza's a pie? I just said it. Okay. Pizza I agree is a with pie. You. Yeah. Okay. But and this is not. This is it's it's, it's strata is its own thing. It's a pie. I said I mean, it's quiche like strata is not pie. pie. See? I'm such a th- I'm just a I'm such a faithful fat guy. I would actually love to watch a channel where you have like that little delicious Rachel Ray, Ray lady just just Ugh, making pies all day. I don't. Oh, yeah. I kind of have. You I, eat it for I've, Christmas. I've heard too much bad stuff about her. Like she is mean. Oh, mean. Her as mean. oh, dude, there's one lady on the cooking show, Giada De Laurentiis. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh? I yeah, probably I've had friends that have shown me pictures of her. She's she's, she's yeah. Quite I probably delicious. shouldn't be saying oh, this delish. stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that word she, for you. And, and she, um, from everything I've heard, her food is amazing. Oh, yeah. It's but I've heard she's uh-huh. like a darling. Oh, Whereas that's good. Whereas Rachel Ray is kind oh, of like. Really? I haven't heard you, that about Rachel Ray. I've heard a lot yeah. of things. Interesting. She is just. Do you know who I was really surprised? Yeah. I heard is just. I don't know her, so I can't say yet. A name. peach, apparently, is um, the flow lady from the insurance commercials. Oh, yeah. I heard that she is terrible. Oh. What do you mean? Terrible. Like, she won't talk to. The staff. She well, has somebody else who will talk to them. Well, I mean, think about how long she's been doing it and how much money she's probably gotten yeah. from and it. And so she can't and put an order in? Well, she's probably gotten a big head now. Like, fame has gotten well, to her. I will tell you this. I'm a huge fan of two ladies on a thing called Cook's Country, America's Test Kitchen. They Ooh. have two shows that they do. Mm-hmm. Um, those those ladies on those shows uh, uh, are amazing. I've learned to make a lot of stuff from them. Ooh. I and the reason we talk so much about food is because food is very much a comfort and holiday thing. Oh, well, see, we 100%. always make we always make strata. We always have it. Can, see, can you imagine what how would happen if all of a sudden you came down for a holiday season of whatever it was? It could be Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. it was Christmas, whatever. Yeah, no food. We're just a uh, oh look bowl of oatmeal. Woohoo! That, I feel like food. that's the type of family yeah, that like runs on Christmas yeah. and Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's kind. Of, we, you we, run? No. Oh, see. No. No, no, no. I'm just saying we my family is the type that like we we um, come together and eat. It's like it's it's a, it's like it's definitely yeah. a part of like just bringing everybody okay. together and like and so enjoying but we, but we always have strata. And my brother's mm-hmm. made uh, vegetarian. Oh. I mean it is, with eggs. But, it's I mean, time it for was, a, it was, what we like quiz. Ooh, ooh. All right. I'm ready. Please raise your hand and those oh. of you at home who are listening or watching, uh, please participate along with us. If you have memories of being at some type of home, whether it's yours or relatives or friends, and having to be at the kids' table, please raise your hand if you are a kids' table. Yes, praise on if you are a part of the kids' (laughs) table army. I think that's... Kids' tables are lit. Yeah, but isn't that like kind of like... uh, It's not just a southern thing, is it? No, it's it's not just a... It's a worldwide thing, putting all the kids at the kids' table. Because you know we're going to make a mess. Because, I mean, I Um, I go... Something's getting spilled. Somebody's going to start crying. Mm -hmm. Typically, what we used to... We haven't been able to do it um, over the last few years Mm -hmm. because stuff. Yeah. But, but yeah, we used to get together with like my parents and my... Mm-hmm. My godparents and like people they all grew up with and like 
went to college with and like basically they were my aunts and uncles oh. Oh, my what? entire life and we would get together and it was just it was like yeah. four families See, I remember growing up like that too. I can yeah. so relate to everything you're saying because that's uh, it's always been things that happen with me there's aunts and uncles mm-hmm. we go to people's house or they come to your house let's do some more quizzes how many people remember everybody coming to their house or going to their house for some type of Christmas oh, Eve oh yes Yay. yes yeah. And how how did you ever do this? Did the parents ever sit back? All right, now all the kids are gonna cook a dinner for all the adults now. Oh no, I don't think I have no hands. Um, <laughs> I have no hands. What we did? It's actually, that. I have no legs. But oh. we did that one time oh. uh, where they did a thing because they thought it was later. cute. You know, have the kids help out, and they were gonna be the ones that were cooking. And the, the parents helped out. Yeah. Um, but that was a cool thing. That's and then, cool. Uh, I, I do. There was <laughs> my uncle Alex is so cool. I remember one time uh, we went to their up to Connecticut f- to their house for Christmas, and I'm just not a fish eater. Okay, I'm mm-hmm. Captain D's. That's it. That's about <laughs> as fishy as I'm getting. Maybe tuna fish, and they had fish for dinner. We had oh. just got there. It was dinner time, and mm-hmm. I wasn't. You know, and I didn't want to be a jerk about mm-hmm. it. I wasn't trying to ruin their dinner. I just don't eat fish. You know, mm-hmm. I'll have some whatever. Uh, so I didn't eat, and after it was over. My Uncle Alex goes, all right, kiddo, you're going with me. Oh. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, my, and he looks at my dad, Jim, come along. Let's go. We got to have this out. And we go out, and we get in his car, and he, he goes, what do you like on your pizza? <laughs> like, what? He goes, if you tell your aunt about this, I'm going to kill you. We're going to get pizza. That fish was crap. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle Alex was so cool. Was me and my dad, my uncle Alex, we went and got Aww. pizza. And, you know, that, cool. That's a great See, story. See, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I grew up with a southern mom, so all like any fish she cooked, it was. I can't eat fish. Okay, now can't also or don't want to. Tried want to so bad. I get allergic reaction. We'll just leave yeah. it at that. Have you tried? Is it just? Is it all? Is it or is it fresh water, salt water? Or? Everything I've tried. It's gotten worse over the years. Like, it's progressively getting worse. So I tried it again a few months ago, and let's just say it wasn't pretty, and I had to go to the hospital. Mm. Um, we want to make a show note right mm. now. We are not giving Mackenzie any fish. I can I'm not even buying your okay. ass which a goldfish is... for Christmas. Yeah, I, I, I can eat shellfish, which is weird, because I, I can say, eat, like, crab have, legs and you shrimp. You ought to talk to, because oh. he's, he's got that. His is weird. Like, he won't get on a plane to go across an ocean. How's his name? Pierre, uh, if you're watching, you know I'm talking about you. But. That, that individual also thinks that he could fight a. Um, yeah, yeah, you know exactly who we're talking about. Yeah, so. yeah, I don't even let's, start yeah. this. Okay. Peace but and love. I love, love that you. guy. Though. We love you. He's great. Oh, I, yeah, I yeah. love him very much. Yeah. Peace that, and love. But um, a kangaroo. <laughs> my money's on him. People, not, people not buddy who boy. know me know that I am the hug guy. I will give you a hug. I love hugging people. I love hugging him. He's a good guy. He's funny. Um, He's a hoot. Yeah, he cracks me up. You want to see something real funny? Give him an energy drink. Give him donuts. That Not man loves chance. donuts. No, I've seen him on an energy drink. Him on energy drink? You might as well just I give don't think him I want to see that. crystal meth. That's what I'm saying. I feel dude, like he's it like literally like he, he, had to, he had to run around the building. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not kidding you. He was like, he's I like, I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> you know, the same thing happens with Anna. We're not allowed to give her like too much caffeine anymore, and like we'll have to monitor because she's just like <laughs> a little energy. Yes. Um, and I don't remember, like I, at least she looked at me one time. She's like, "I'm just gonna go walk." And I was like, "Okay, go walk." That's what he had to do. That's what he had to do. He had to go outside and just like get the energy yeah. out because he was like it was too much. I was like, "Please don't ever do drugs." I was like, just, "Are you falling asleep now?" That she's like, "No." Just because we need to tell the viewers, uh, for those who don't know. Anna or Anna uh-huh. is a wonderful lady. She was here for with us. Yeah, she's been yeah, she came to our We're bringing show, her back, and she came to our Halloween show. And as we get ready to do, don't now you guys don't tell her this because she doesn't know about this. We want to keep a this surprise. a secret from her. Uh, we're going to have her come back when we do some more things where we do kind of uh, the what we like movie reviews. Because mm-hmm. uh, you know you always go to the movies with somebody. You never go alone or else you look weird like Pee Wee Herman. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have her come back because that's your, your your movie buddy. That's my buddy right there. Um, now there's something else we need because movies are a good segue into this. And well, wanna, if you I, have I, any I suggestions that I you want to hear us ramble on about, please leave them in the comments. I want to do one real quick quiz. Raise your hands if you've uh, watched Strange Brew yet. I feel targeted. I feel targeted. You're going to end up on the naughty list. I feel targeted. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> like end the naughty up. and nice? End up. Oh, you have a permanent residence? 
<laughs> it's been nice. I mean, I'm not top. I'm not, you know, I'm not like top ten or Somebody anything. Here but has never seen strange brew. Well, we're gonna fix that. But yo, old Santy. He, he uh, knows your name personally. <laughs> yeah. Speaking, he stopped by. He's like, <laughs> he's at dude, the top. And I'm like, so. Speaking of good old Santy, my call. This is gonna be our next uh, thing to talk about here Make on our Christmas stuff. extravaganza. Mm. Um, as you guys were children once, like me. Mm-hmm. Um, how about I those Christmas am. specials? Ooh. Because, uh, and I'm just going to start with some really old ones because mm-hmm. I'm the now, really old Now, if I still had part. cable, I would be into this, but. They don't play them anymore. I do have cable. No, it's basically on streaming. And Go we ahead. can watch them over here. I have some of them. Uh, but of course, I, I, I grew up with the old Claymation ones and the old oh, Charlie Browns. Cause literally there was love those. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to do there the peanuts. Rudolph's mm-hmm. Shiny New Year. Mm-hmm. There was Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which told the kind of origin of Santa. That's when he has red hair and he meets, yep. I love that one. And he gets Wait, his what? girlfriend, which yes. is Mrs. Claus. And he meets love that the one. Booger Meister Meister Booger. Yes. I know yes. what he's talking about. Ha-ha. I don't know if I'm Mr. saying that. Yeah. Movies that you yeah, don't. Santa I'll Claus is Coming to Town is the one that tells how Santa Claus came about. Uh, what about and the it's one? It's really cool. I love but it. But there's a lot of newer ones, yeah, too, that are. kind of throw in that song. Like, like, I like the Jack Frost Are you talking one about the Claymation the ones? Yeah, these are the Claymation ones. Okay. Is that um, I may have seen And there was, you know, know, Frosty the Snowman originally yeah. was uh, one like that, that and stuff. You know. Is the the Jack Frost one where he makes the snowflakes and then he falls in love with the, the human? I think so, Is that yes. a Claymation? No, that's that just really that, old. That's that. That's a different one. I don't know that that's claymation. I love those. Uh, and then there I is a Jack Frost movie. One. I don't know. Uh, but that that's the cool thing is I think even some of well, the that was newer the Guardians, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a newer one. Though. I don't know. Some of the newer Christmas about the stuff. Rise of the that's, Guardians. That one's a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. If you think about it, Eight Crazy Nights, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. um, all the new things. Some I love the, the Santa s- Clauses. Yeah, the Santa Claus movies. I haven't. Movies, watched series? Home I haven't alone I've watched movies, half of it. Die I never hard, finished. You know. Die Hard. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas what is, movie. What is For Die those hard? of you, what, 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 what? you're going to be watching Die Hard, so don't worry. <sighs> okay. For <laughs> for those of you who <laughs> disagree that Die Hard is not a not a Christmas movie, I oh, mean, oh, you're, oh. you're welcome to your own ideas, but you're wrong. <laughs> is what he's trying to say. Yeah, yippee ki <clears throat> what anyway. about the the heat miser and um, the Mr. Freeze and Mr. Heat? Yeah, yep. what is that one? I love that those are was claymations? on Santa Claus was coming to town. Oh, okay. of course, I'm always a big f- island uh, friend, a uh, fan of the Island of Misfit I Toys. I was about to say mm-hmm. that one. Man. Do you know how? I, I, I actually have a little statue. Okay. of of uh, Let, let's Charlie. Do, let's do Charlie a quiz in a box. Real quick I uh, love on Rudolph. That. That's all Rudolph the Red Nosed yes. Reindeer. First of all, you had Rudolph. Who is the little guy that wanted to be a dentist? Oh, 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 oh. I know his girlfriend's name. That was Herbie the Elf. I was gonna say I can't. I can see him. I can him. see his face. I can see his face. Rush. I blood. want to be a dentist. I love um, it. And who was the little explorer guy that kept going around with him? Oh, with the hat. Oh, I can hear his voice. Oh, I can hear. I can't his think voice. of any of the names. Yeah, Jukes. Yeah, oh yes, yes, yes. That was Yukon Cornelius. Yeah. And Yukon they found Cornelius. the little white snow monster who was a. Yes. Was he's he, a Yeti. He's oh, a Yeti. He, uh, he, he's a, and he's a Bumble. Because oh, Bumbles yeah. bounce. Oh. Yes. Um, and God, then on the Island of Misfit seen. Toys, do you guys n- remember any of the toys from the, the island? Kite. I mean, I've got mine because mine kite. was Charlie in a box. Oh, I'm a Charlie cute. in the box. <laughs> I'm a caboose with square wheels. Oh. Yeah, I actually, I'm a squirt gun that squirts jelly. <laughs> I, I have a, I, yeah, I've got a Charlie in the box. Absolutely. Oh, that's cute. And of course, you knew Rudolph's girlfriend's name, Clarice. That's right. Uh, so Hello, you know, Clarice. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> yeah, the Doctor Lecter version of uh, Rudolph the <laughs> Just Reindeer. I would like to eat Rudolph with a f- kidney with a fava bean and a Chianti. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that went really bad really quick. Um, yes. well, hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. Moving hey, on. If deer is good, reindeer's got to be even. I juicier. wonder what it. Oh. T- I wonder what that comparison would be. Actually, no, I don't know if it was real would reindeer. Taste different? Um, I have no idea. I know some people who have eaten the actual real reindeer, and they they <laughs> said it was okay. It wasn't something they're planning on going hunting mm-hmm. for to do again. It wasn't bad, but it just it wasn't liked, it wasn't. Yeah, they like elk and some other things better. Huh. Okay, because like you know, like technically, like everybody uses the word venison for deer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Venison basically just means meat. Yeah, oh. it's not actually. 
Just a lot of people use venison for deer, but yeah. deer is just actually I, deer. It's I will, not venison. Like, does anybody else the, know that? Yeah. Um, as a kid who did. grew up in Colorado, uh, we had a lot of different things that other people don't have. Uh, I've eaten mule deer. I've eaten elk. Oh, I am here to I'll tell you elk. that antelope oh. is one of the tastiest things you will ever really? try. Uh, we had a thing there that they don't have here called beefalo, where they mix uh, bison and beef. Not, mm. not the How meats. many antelope do they have out in Colorado? <laughs> hey, it's right next to where the deer and the antelope play. Home on the range, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, oh, really? Colorado, okay. Wyoming, Nebraska, all that stuff. Has we, a lot of... Yeah, we went all over out there. Um, huh. And antelope was great. Every day. Uh, all the different things. Like I said, beefalo is where they breed a male, I think, bison with a female cow, and it has oh. a, an offspring. Yeah, you've told me about that. And that is some of the most delicious really? succulent. It, it's so good, it would almost be made by sweet Segovia delicacies. Uh, I'm not almost, kidding you. Almost. That's still um, top tier. And I'm going to say one right now that's going to really piss off some people. Uh, down in Florida, there's birds that they protect, and you can't hurt them, and they're really cute, and they call them sandhill cranes. Um, Are those the really up. tall ones with, like, the skinny legs? Yeah, and, and they have like the gray and r- with the or red gray. and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I guess you. They I didn't know they I were protected. I guess you tried it before they were on the endangered list. No, if you go north, you can hunt them. They have seasons for them. I think the reason oh. they protect them in Florida is because they might be down there having offspring. Oh, okay, yeah, that uh, makes but sense. But once they get back to up north, uh, it's hunting range. time because they are known as the flying ribeye. Really? <laughs> and dude, I swear to you, it was amazing. <laughs> hmm. Some flashbacks. Yeah, I just I haven't had. I'm, haven't I'm a had fat a chance guy. Remember, try, this is all going to be a lot of related. different. I haven't um, had a chance to try a lot yeah, of different things. Not like that, yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. So you know, maybe we could do a, a new Christmas special where we just go around <gasps> and eat different animals or something. Well, oh. actually, uh, me and the old weed machine. <laughs> you were going to say like uh, uh, try different things. We were actually talking about. Uh, you don't know who I mean when I say mm-hmm. weed machine, right? Yeah. Well, we were talking about it. It kind That's of. That's literally fa- his name, by the way. So He's not did. like a. Yeah, this like is a, not like a, a drug head, reference. No, 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 no that's no, literally no, no. his last name. <laughs> dude has like a dude has like a ton of nicknames. Yeah, that's it's, literally his last name. It's so. great, dude. We all love him. Yes, um, he's awesome. Let's yeah. give much love. We we had talked about actually going online, and they have you can go. I, I know I, what you're I talking talk, about. I've heard about him. This. I've heard him talk about yeah, it. Like the big had, package, and it has all the different meats. In yeah, it. we had talked about it. Talked about it. Back when you know we were a little bit busier and yeah, a little bit more I money. remember because I remember you guys were all saying you're going to wait because there's like a group of you yeah that were going to pitch in for and it. And funny enough, I talked to I was talking to somebody. It was and he was a chef um, at work or just no out no and no. About I was um, no I was actually I was by any chance when you were talking to him was he singing a song going. No, they a completely okay. different type of chef. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, <laughs> he was not Swedish. B- b- no. Um, I guess he could have if he looked at him. Didn't. Uh, who anyway, you to? anyway, I, I truthfully, it's the first night I met him. I can't remember his Aww. name. He's. Uh, I was with two of my old, uh, you know, guys I've known forever. We were up in the mountains just chilling. Um, but the, it was like five of us hanging out, mm-hmm. and two of them are like chefs, are huh. like really good cooks oh. trust me the dinner that night was um, they know what they're doing well, yeah they've been around it and we had, we had started talking about it and he was like well mm-hmm. if you're going to do it you want to do it a specific way you want to do cuts do you wanna, what like different types of meat and everything. oh like there's different so cuts, it, yeah it's saying, not something saying. you just want to throw on the grill yeah and, you know, like try and fillet it if, you know or, or do it <laughs> like you know there's specific ways that you yeah. want to cut it and cook it Mm-hmm. And he was telling me, basically, you know, I get back in touch with my with my <laughs> my like chef friend, so I can get in touch with this guy because yeah. I don't know if my chef friend's ever actually ever if he's cooked a yeah. lot of this stuff. He hunts a lot, so there's a good chance he does. Oh, that's cool. But if if me and the wee machine ever actually sit down and we we order that because every time we go on there, the boxes we want are always uh, out, out. Okay, of interesting. Stuff. So now I have a Christmas logical mm-hmm. question for you mm-hmm. because uh, I was just happening to happen the other night to be sitting on my big fat arse. <laughs> Uh, doing a few exercises with, in fact, it's right here. Uh, the this Remote. one. I was I was doing a few of these and a few of these and maybe <laughs> oh. a few of those. Those are good workouts. Yeah, and, uh, these. yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> it was I was doing it in between those. Uh, I didn't want to work out that hard. Uh, <laughs> but I saw this commercial on for a place 
uh, maybe in Omaha, oh. who has steaks. Huh. And they were saying they have this box where you can get, you know, four of these and four of these and four of these and four of these. Um, so I'm thinking, is that a good Christmas gift to send to somebody? Send them a box of frozen meats and stuff so they can enjoy it, I think? Yeah, I think that's yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's just, li- I like, I, yeah. That I mean, um, My mom received something like that one year. Uh, they She grew up in Ohio, and there's this pizza place called Massey's Pizza, and they love, love, love it. And they my one of my uncles had it, you can get it shipped, frozen. And so we had Massey's Pizza one year for Christmas <laughs> as a surprise. Oh and then he gave everybody, like, you know, the, the siblings up there, the parents, uh, he gave them all their favorite, like, pizza that they, cool. like, grew up with. It was cool. It was really cool. It's something different. Mm. You know, it's not something that's just going to sit on your shelf. You're like, I think they might like this, so. And, cool. I mean, me, me and the weed machine haven't put this off. We're going to do <laughs> it's it. It's just, it's just kind of on the back burner. But I think right it'd be now. a good well, gift. I do. Now that I think about it, uh, the people who are Motorola heads, like I am, my family was, my dad worked for Motorola his mm. whole life. Um, there was a place in Schaumburg, Illinois, and all around called Lou Malnati's Pizza. Oh. Mm. And they make some damn good pizza. I ain't lying. Uh, I <laughs> ordered it before they have a service like that. You can actually mm-hmm. get them to send it every month to if you want it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, that's we've tried some of those. A lot. That's some yeah, pizza it's a lot. You've got to be a pizza lover. Uh, but now, and I think of it, my family that moved from Connecticut and all that down to Florida, uh, they send stuff like oranges, grapefruits, uh, and stuff like yes. that because, you know, that's things they can get down there fresh every day that yeah. maybe we don't. So I'm thinking, you know, yeah, foods are a comfort thing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they, they do make some damn good presents. Ooh, yeah, right. I mean, my mom gets me a box. Um, I can't think of the name. It's like... Dave and something, but they're like really expensive fruits. Harry and David. Yeah. Harry and David. Yes. And uh, what kind of fruits? She she gets me pears. Oh. My mom knows that. Like, I, I'd like, there's a thing about like, like if you cut stuff up, apples. I can do pears. I Uh love pears. But like, my favorite fruit is probably a pear because there's something. And these are the juiciest, like, <laughs> flavorful pears I've ever had in my entire life. They that's cool. So see, I think that's a good. I used idea. to actually bring some. So, there was a person at work that used to Harry, love them, yeah. and she would like. She found out, and she would just like puppy dog eyes. Like, she's like, I will bring you one. <laughs> I, th- that is one of the things I can say. I've, we, my family has received stuff from Harry and David. Oh, their fruit is um, amazing. I don't well, know where any, they get anything it. you're going to get from a Harry and David is a mm, pretty good type of garden, bro. <laughs> Different they type always of garden. have the most premium stuff. Now, you pay. You're going to pay for yeah, it. It's you a pay little for it. It's one of the things where you places. pay for what you're getting. Oh, yeah, but, but yeah, it's worth it. Worth it. it you're is not so going to get a crapper from Harry and David. No. No, no bruised fruits. No. No, no. like, I'm, I'm, no, no. I'm not kidding. Not a bad, like, not a bad peach I've, in the pear. I've like, bitten into one the, of these pears and had to. Really? Oh, no, my God. I've never yeah. thought of like they, pears being like a juicy no, fruit. Then they literally I'll, have the I'll kind of presents that are yeah. handpicked. They yeah. go through every fruit and go, okay, this is, oh, no, this one's crap. One, this wow. One's crap. And, yeah. I, if, I, I, I mean, fruit. the box is gone. Sorry. There's no <laughs> left. But like, uh, I may just order some. That's and, like, cool. And it's weird because you think about like right now, th- like I got it at the beginning of the month. Huh. Damn. And and, and and I wonder where they grow them, like where it's pear season. I told you it's a different I type see of what garden. You're saying. I see what you're saying. <laughs> it makes no sense. How good. Okay, so then I'll I, order some because you can get the smaller boxes. Uh-huh. They're not quite as expensive. Mm-hmm. But I'll order a thing of pears and we'll excited. bring them in. If you like pears, do you like pears? I like pears. I'm not a pear person. No. Uh, uh, what about apples? Because you can, yeah, cause you, can do a, a, you can do a, a mix, mixed. and I'm, that way I'm I apples, can bring them in. I'm pineapple stuff like that. Oh, I love me some um, yeah. One of the things I just thought about is we kind of got off track for a minute. Sorry. So while we're eating our pineapples <laughs> and pears, no, no, no. I'm saying this is this is still cool because as we're sitting there eating them, relaxing, enjoying stuff, uh, we were talking about Christmas movies. We forgot some of them. Oh, there's so uh, many. How about National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Oh. Cause, dude, cousin dude, cousin Eddie is my favorite. The, the first thing. one, Melly, can we, can we, can we. Oh, I love that Christmas song. Oh. I didn't know that was from a movie. Well, I mean, it's not, but it's in that movie. Oh, it's okay, in that okay. Because they like what, what, they're in uh, Chicago, right? Yep. Yeah, they're in Chicago, and he's thinking about got to build the pool, and he's getting that that bonus, <laughs> and then all the hilarity that ensues oh. from it, and not to mention his his he's sitting there. With, Looking outside, having his little <laughs> dream. It's a good dream. <laughs> Jelly of the dream. Month Club, Clark. Yeah. That's the gift that keeps on giving. 
Um, you, can't, you can't see it. Can okay, you? so I, I have a question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. You know, so one of, another big part of Christmas is definitely gift giving, and you know, Santa Claus. So, what was your favorite gift growing up? Everybody, I feel like everybody has that one gift that they were just like, "This is cool," or "That's really what they wanted." What What is yours, Greg? Do you have it, uh, Charlie? No, I've got nothing like, like pops into your I'm mind. Th- you know, I've got one. It's gonna sound really, really weird. Go for it. Three, Go for it. Um, two, one. My dad, when I was, I guess I was 15, 14, mm-hmm. 15, 16, somewhere in there. Um, my dad built me a shelf. Oh. And it was for my. It was specifically for my stereo that I that they got <laughs> me that year. But he built me a shelf. He t- Aww, did so everything on it. I still have the shelf. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about thirty something years yeah. later. I still have the shelf. Oh, that's sweet. But I, it, it's, I know it sounds weird. I will say no, this. Oh, that's really cool. My when we were when I was younger than that, my brother got what I thought was the best Christmas present ever. <laughs> he got the GI Joe aircraft carrier. That thing was <laughs> amazing. He Dude. slept on it. Yeah, it was like he had. How room. big was the thing? Was six and a half, seven feet long? Yeah, those things. Oh, were. oh, I'm thinking like Barbie size, like. No, well, I mean technically, yeah. I mean, you're talking about a GI Joe that's going to be about that big. Yeah. And they can fit in. I mean, like, and you oh. you yeah. can fit planes. Because GI Joes too. are like tall. No, like, no, no. no. The, the old school, the old oh. school, the oh. old school GI Joes were tall. Huh. Uh, the original when they when first like came smaller. out with them, but when they actually because they. It, I mean, there's a thing you can watch, but they literally started doing the cartoons to sell the toys. They mm, wanted to sell yes. toys, yeah, and that's yeah, how I they. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I watched yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, GI Joe was technically already out, mm-hmm. but they, it was, not, like, it was not conducive to making money to mm-hmm. buy to do something that big, mm-hmm. because it, it cost more money to produce something yeah. that compared to like something smaller, something. Smaller, huh. and then you can build the vehicles because I mean the vehicles for those things were going to be much bigger, much bigger. So they could oh, mass cool. produce some stuff smaller. And they, when they came up with that freaking aircraft carrier, that was it. Oh, they, like, I mean, wow! I, the, I had a thing where it was a rolling base, and it oh. was three levels, and you could do, do, and open it. I, oh, yeah, the people Fancy who came up it. with those, those, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. They must have had so much fun. Just like, <laughs> They're just playing with it. And let's do this. And let's do this. All right. I, I technically. Sorry. Have I a, got off on a. I got a two-stage answer. No, those are good. No, those you gave good. me enough time to figure it out. I've got it. kind of a two-stage <laughs> answer. Uh-huh. Um, I was a Lego-aholic. Oh, okay, I love I Legos. I love Legos. Too. And I, yes. I literally, my grandmother one time noticed how many Legos I had. Mm-hmm. And she brought these suitcases in. And I was like, what is this for? And she goes, now you can keep all your Legos in them. Oh. So I had, you know, kind of all the blocks and, and, and stuff that was kind of pre-built in one blocks in the other. Mm-hmm. And I always loved Legos, and those were great presents because um, you could interact with your Hot Wheels and all these other things. Uh, but you said, what is the coolest one? Mm-hmm. And this one is probably the coolest one that I will remember. Um, my mom and dad got married, but they had very little money. Mm-hmm. And they never really had a honeymoon. They just their honeymoon was moving from somewhere in Long Island where they lived separately to where they were going to have a house in Valley Stream. Uh, So they never really had one. Mm -hmm. And when I was about eight, uh, my mom and dad were talking to me and my sister and said, "Okay, so we got kind of a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, This Christmas is going to be a little different. What we're going to do is since we never had a honeymoon, we're going to go on vacation. Aww. And we're going to Mazatlan, Mexico. Oh. Mm. So they go got everything. Go home. Oh, yeah. We we flew from Colorado to Mexico. Uh, we had to go see the doctor previous because you get the little pills so you don't get Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> uh, and that's as far as we're going to go on that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but we went to a place, the Playa de Mazatlan, and stayed in a hotel on the beach. And Aww. we know a lot. Uh, <laughs> they had a big yellow rope that you stayed behind, and if you were going to cross and go out onto the public mm-hmm. beach, somebody from the hotel would walk with you because the federales oh. were walking around, and if they saw kids, they would snatch them oh. and then bring them back to the hotel and ransom them back to their kid. And it wasn't anything big. It would be like 20 30 bucks. But, but still. still. But to them, that was a lot of money. Yeah, and, and it's still uh, scary. Yeah, yeah, so it was, it was you know, that's that was a... A thing to being in a foreign country at yeah. that time and learning, but 
That's um, really cool, I, though. We have a lot of great memories for that, Aww. eating at a restaurant where there was a giant scorpion on the wall that oh. s- my sister just sat at a table. <laughs> was she it was not having it. Like, how big was it? Huge. Oh. Um, Huge. Real? The <laughs> body of it was the same size as this mouse. Oh. And then it had a big tail. Uh, it, my, we sat down and everything. We were looking at menus, and my sister was just like, couldn't take her eyes off it. <laughs> and we we're Stunned. like, Dad's like, what do you want to drink? She's like, get out of here. And she just couldn't verbalize. Oh. And she finally pointed. My dad saw it. And he told the guy, he said, Yes, hey, senor, no problem. Go down And we didn't know what there This guy comes over with a trash can and a stick. And oh, it was a, alive? It, oh, hell yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> I just thought it was some yeah. like random like we got a no big no no. Yeah, I thought man. it was like a part of like decorations or no, something. No, it was on the wall, and that it was alive and well. We had to deal with this when we were down there. They were all over. I did not know uh, the guy in knocks Mexico. it into a waste basket, waste basket like uh-huh. a wicker waste basket. We could oh. see it crawling around in there, oh. and he goes over to this door and <laughs> opens it up, and there's like a fifty gallon aquarium with a top on it, and he opens it up and throws it in to where there's probably. 20 or 30 more in there that they've got. Wow. Wicked. Um, I yeah. I see why she's stunned there. now. I, I would have loved to see that. Like, yeah, no. guys, it would be like, by the, yeah, s- by the same like... token, uh, they had a water fountain at the hotel for the Americans, and it was, you know, <laughs> gringo agua for the better lack of a word. Uh, and I used to love going out there and getting something to drink because there were these cool little lizards. Oh. Hmm. And they loved being around the one that the... was the water fountain because they got water from yeah. it. With, and I, you could go out and play with them. They were oh. just so used to people I could hold. And as long as you weren't doing anything bad, they didn't really. Um, you just hold them for a oh. minute and then you put your hand down and they would jump back in. And I was like, you know. That's sweet. That was our Christmas. And that, that's a, a cool it's Christmas. a cool memory. Like for I, sure. I've, like there was one time we uh, we went to Christmas at my grandmother's, and it was at St. Simon's, and it snowed oh. down there, and we had a white Christmas. Oh it, my god! It was totally weird. That's but crazy. But we we're like, I mean, it didn't stay. Yeah, but for, just like for it, it was like a day, and I mean, there was just enough snow, but you know, it was still it was like that's really. I cool. was a little kid. That's really so. that's a once in a lifetime for sure. I mean. Once in a couple lifetimes. I don't think, I don't know that St. Yeah, Simon I don't gets know. snow That's any, crazy. Any, anymore. That's really cool. Now, I will say this. We went skiing one year for Christmas, oh. and it was very cold outside, and my dad had the big Bronco. We folded down the tailgate, and we went mm-hmm. off skiing, and they were making stuff. Uh, he had propane running the stove, and he had a giant thing with boiling water and a giant thing with boiling tomato soup. Huh. We had these ceramic mugs that were in the boiling water. Huh. So as we came down, it was so cold that he used a pair of tongs to pull a mug out of the boiling water to and keep it warm. And then you can hold it. And then put it in his hand, put boiling soup in it, and would hand it to you. And by the time he handed it to you, you could just go. Because <laughs> it was cold. Or it was. It was so it cold. Was, it would cool down. It was about 23 below. Oh, no. Yeah. That's not for me. Yeah. 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 That's so, not where you'll find I'm me. Not, I'm not that. Yeah. No. Like, I, I'm okay with snow, but like. Negative. Mm, have I've you been like a George boy my whole life, so. When you want it to be a white Christmas, you wear your pajamas inside out. My niece has always told me, if we're going to have a white oh. Christmas, I'll wear my pajamas inside In Colorado, your ass didn't have no problem with hoping for a white Christmas. <laughs> uh, sure. We used to That's go funny. up in my room. My dad would take the screen out. Uh-huh. We would jump out of my window into the snowdrift because the snowdrift up against the side of the house uh-huh. was so high, you would never get to the bottom. We'd dig down to the ground and then dig tunnels under there and have what? tunnels. And we'd take a spray bottle with uh, water and food coloring in it uh-huh. and spray the tunnel. So we knew this was the blue tunnel, this was the red one. So, you know. Oh, that's so cool. That's yeah. dope. We, built a, we built an igloo one year. See, I mean, now, my mom wouldn't let us stay in it. But, you know. <laughs> See, that's when me and my brother were growing up, we had. Big, huge kudzu patch behind our house. I know what you're talking about. And we used to, we used to go through and cut. We we would cut, you know. Like, yeah. And then have hidey holes, and we'd play hide and seek because you could literally just step off the path and you were gone. Yeah. And then you step back on and run, and <laughs> I we probably shouldn't have been playing back there because yeah. I mean I was like like we lived at that house until I was eight, and I mean snakes, yeah. all kinds of stuff back there, and I was just running around you're just in going my damn for diaper. And sh- you you know. didn't know nothing. <laughs> We we were so stupid and goofy back then. Uh, we used to wait for the, them to plow the streets because uh-huh. we're, we're you know it's already four feet deep. Uh-huh. 
and the snow plow goes through and makes these huge drifts on the side of the street. Uh -huh. And we would go across my street and up to the top of the big hill, turn around, ride our bikes down as fast as we possibly oh. could. And launch. Just get up on the seat and hold on and hit that snow drift and just launch out in the snow. I am surprised any of us are still alive. <laughs> no, see, we did that. It's it wasn't quite as big a hill, but like we got up and packed up enough snow, and we we had made a it. ramp. Yeah, and so like my brother had a he had a uh, mean uh, green machine, mm -hmm. and I had a little GI Joe uh, big wheel. Oh, we'd ride that thing down and just launch <laughs> off. Oh. You'd bounce off trees. I, oh. I, yeah, I hit a tree one oh. time. Oh, oh, that explains. It was a lot. awesome. That explains a lot. It was so much fun. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Well, I mean, like we used to do that at my. There was a huge house across a uh, huge hill across from my parents, uh -huh. and my dad bought us these orange sleds. It's just yeah. plastic, but we used to surf down them when it snowed, and just to see how far <laughs> you could make it, and see if you could hit the street and make it across the street, Ooh. and then go down the next hill, which was across the street, and that was oh a long goodness. Hill. Yeah, my my buddy Brooks, he made it all the way down. Tipped and then fell in the creek. <laughs> oh, I bet he was a little cold after that. Oh, we kept going. Oh, okay, okay. Well, guys, I think we have sufficient, sufficiently uh, gone through our Christmas memories. Is there anyone you have? I, yeah, you. We've been running our mouths. And you've just been <laughs> rolling us along. Yeah, you got anything? You got one. Um, now's the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll make it quick. My my favorite Christmas gift, um, Santa gift, growing up, and this is Baby Mackenzie. I got a um, a, a handmade. Uh, Barbie house that Santa Aww. gave me and it was bigger than me the house was bigger than me at the time um, I think maybe now I might be a little like eye to eye with it maybe a little taller Good it was Lord. big it was three floors um, and the Barbies could like stand comfortably Wait, it, it was, was really made? cool yeah it was wood I don't know where they oh. got it. I don't know if it was like handcrafted or from a store. Right. I've never seen anything else like that. If it was wood, like that it. was handcrafted. Yeah, but it wasn't like it was like sturdy wood. Like it was like thin, like maybe like plywood. But it was That's really, cool. it was light enough to like move. Like I could push it. I couldn't pick it up, but I could push it. Do you see the light bulb? Huh? Do you see the light bulb, Charlie? <laughs> Above my head. No. Uh, because this is where we need to tell Olaf and Jorgen. Uh, we need to make a special note. Uh, because just the thought of baby Mackenzie is absolutely <laughs> adorable. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, we know Mrs. Mom Mackenzie. <laughs> Mrs. Mom Mackenzie. Uh, and if oh, no. uh, Mackenzie's mom is out there because we love her, she is such a wonderful, yes, she is sweet, a one. amazing so mom. Lady. mom. Um, if you happen to have any embarrassing pictures of oh, baby no, Mackenzie no, 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 no. Uh, or anything you would like <laughs> us to put on air publicly to uh, make her face turn red, uh, please I let us know goes, where where rev? where would she send <laughs> that? Where would she send that if she wanted to email us? Does anybody know? You know, I don't think we have a place that she could send. Actually, that, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. yeah. Well, that? we where's don't that? have the sheet, but where's, where's the sheet? Where's, where's, where's the sheet? It got, uh, it got we, shut down. Sorry. We, we have new technology. If you go like this, Charlie. No, Charlie. It'll no, Charlie. and now say it, no, and it will magically show no, up Charlie. on the screen for our viewers. <sighs> no, Charlie. What would it say? Would it say what we like? PC no. at gmail.com. Oh, no, no Charlie. Right that's right. No, Charlie. And would anybody like to know right that here. we have, <laughs> we actually have our first official email. Would you guys Ooh. like me to write it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I can't pull it. Well, I know what it says. Uh, it comes from one of our viewers, the Bick Lord. Uh, and he was kind enough to write into us. And this is exactly what it says. And this is why I love it. Uh, it's it comes to what we like PC at gmail dot com uh -huh. and it says hi oh oh hi that's what it says <laughs> that's what it oh, says oh hi <laughs> hi Bick Lord that oh, was a lot to memorize huh yeah I think I it? think he's taking it he's breaking <laughs> us in easy he might he might expand on his next one okay, uh, okay. but we would just like to say to the Bick Lord we thank you for writing yeah. in I, I, dude I, we I, appreciate yeah. it that was a perfect email I think I, I I don't think I could say it any better myself mm. and if if anybody wants to be a part of our next coming up shows why don't you guys email in and uh, let us know what your favorite gift was that you got from Christmas or your favorite favorite uh, family tradition and maybe a dish that you like. Yeah. yeah. And then we can read it and and then we can be part of your yeah. family tradition. Let's say you actually want to be on the show. Uh, if you'll contact us. Yeah. Let's say you want to sit in Charlie's time. lap and snuggle with him for oh, the show. I'm not. down. For a small phenomenal donation, I think we can work <laughs> something up. Instead of Santa's lap, you can sit on Charlie's lap. Or, or yeah. just say, hey, can I sit in Charlie's lap? And I'd be like, let's go. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> 
there's not a lot that he will say no to. Well, guys, I Whoa. think. <laughs> uh, well, let's get some music uh, going so he can't say anything about that one. Bye. Thank you and Merry Christmas. All right, so we have Probably reached true. the we have reached the end of this episode. We want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we want to thank all the wonderful people like Sylvia uh, Delicacy. Uh, they're going to be uh, interacting with us doing some fun things. We want to thank Drake and Sweetwater for helping us out with all the cool equipment. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, if you have something you want to say, uh, please write us what we like to see at gmail.com. We'll make it appear right there. Like, comment, email in. We want to hear right. from you guys. Yeah, yeah. we love it. We love it. Uh, we can also go vote. Go vote on things. Yeah, we just go want to say thank you to all of our cool people that watch and support us. We love you guys. Um, <laughs> in the meantime, you guys have a great day, great night, whatever you're doing. See you on